through song and by leaning on each other, they turn to their faith. Tonight, members of Grace Ministries International in Brentwood are remembering those who have died because of drugs. This is going to be the first Christmas that people are going to experience without having a loved one. A small but moving tribute was held at the church as people took a microphone to tell their stories and bring a message to others who are struggling. Every single one of you deal with wanting to be accepted or wanting to feel you're okay or wanting to know you're loved or that you belong. Addicts aren't any different. We need to move forward. Instead of being crippled by this thing, we need to take a stance and say no more. Kathleen Bossy says her daughter's boyfriend died a few years ago from a heroin overdose. It was just a slip and then he was gone. Her other children also have friends who have lost their lives. They all have friends that have, we've lost a lot of kids that were very much a staple in my house during high school. In addition to praying for the families, Pastor Alan Cook says more action needs to be taken. Use every resource we have, whether it's faith-based, whether um, it's political-based, every resource that we have to, to end this incredible tragedy. With many hurting this time of year over the death of a family member, Cook says to remember the good times. They also have the memories of that person. They have the times when they were together, the love they shared together. And I would encourage them to focus in on that instead of just the loss. People gathered tonight hope by sharing their personal experiences they can erase the stigma associated with the opioid epidemic and provide comfort for others. In Brentwood, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.